Yeah, there it is. All right. <clears throat> Hi everyone, back in the studio. This is unique for us, it's been so long. Whoa, almost fell in my seat. Oh. All right, I don't know if you can see me, which is probably a good thing. You got pockets there. Here you go, baby, some ideas we can talk about today if you want. I know you're not a big fan of ideas. No, I'm not. Talking about. Oh, it feels weird being, I love it. I love being back here, but I'm not used to it right now. I know. We've been on location for so long, so many different cities and countries. Well, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Leave comments, questions, responses. We will definitely uh, talk and answer them for you. I'm just getting everything set up here before we go live. Okay, I can't hear it my headphones. I can't hear out of your headphones. Uh, How about now? Can you hear? Uh, there, you there you go. No, All right. Good. Everyone always tells me I have to wear headphones. I don't like wearing them, but they tell me I have to. Let me do this. Let me do that. Can you hear me in your headphone, okay? Yes. All right. Am I peeking out here? No. Talk for me. Hello, hello. Check, check, chicken, check. Okay, there we go. You can hear me. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I can hear you. You know, I don't have any headphones back here. Can you hear me on? All the behind the scenes things that I'm sure you don't want to hear or see. But uh, we take down that, that wall there. That's what we do. All right, there we go. I'm gonna mess up my hair a little bit more now. It's already messed up, like I said today. It was messed up. You can't see her, but our daughter is actually sitting in the uh, fun playroom here. Yeah, we have a fun playroom. You ready? Yep. Well, let's start it. Playboy Radio is Holly and Michael live here at Dash. That's right. Why am I not having great volume? There we go. I got volume. Great, in my what? great sex. sex, great volume. It's been a while. We haven't had sex in it. It's been busy. Yeah. It's been busy. We love. Being on the road, we love seeing everybody. Got back from Vegas. I was a little ill, uh, some food poisoning. Yeah. Late night, late night food ordering into our room. Do you know who I blame? And then it came out of the room. Then it came out of the room, and the drive home was not so good. Had to drive instead of fly. My stomach would not have handled the flying. But I blamed, jokingly, I blamed that couple from um, Santa Fe. Santa Fe. Remember the one you made out with a couple nights? So we're at Central, yes. CentralLasVegas.com, our club. Fridays and Sundays, it's the pool party. Mm -hmm. Fridays and Saturdays, we have the evenings. Yes. And it's just getting busier and busier every every weekend. More intimacy, more places to hang out. Uh, we have little play areas where people can get frisky. But, but, do you remember playing Simon Says with that beautiful couple? I'm not using names. Yes, I do. They're from New Mexico. Yes, I do. Okay. We were going to text them when we got back to the room. Mm -hmm. Yes. Saturday night. Uh-huh. Because Sunday they left a little, sorry, Friday they left a little earlier. Yeah. And we did text them, but we didn't get back to the room until about four in the morning. And if they would have texted us back, we all would have met, and I wouldn't have eaten uh, the bad food. So that's why it's their fault. That's why I jokingly mm. said it's their fault. Jokingly, jokingly, oh, jokingly. get it now. Hi, Renee. Renee, I miss you. we got to hang out. We keep saying that. <laughs> Renee from Andrita. Yes, I remember mm. Renee. But be that as it may, we are still at Dash. I, a lot of things going on. Check out hollyandmichael.com. Hollyandmichael.com has all of our shows because if you miss it at Dash, yeah. miss it on Playboy Radio, you can now get it there. So technically, we are back on demand. Yeah. It's been a long while since it's we've been, been on a demand. While. I've never really been on demand. You're, demand. you're on demand a lot. People no. do demand you. Yeah, they do. I don't think People so. demand. They want pockets time. I demand it. Let's see that beautiful dress you're wearing. That's a new dress I just ordered for you online. Um, shows great nipplage, great booty. Can you pull it down? Oh, wait, pull it up. We can see side boob a little bit? No. Let me see. Pull it up. A no. little side boobage. Can you pull it down and show cleavage if you want to, right? Let's see. You can move the hair and then show it that way. Show it towards the camera. It doesn't really Yeah, matter. that's kind of cool. Is there is our bandeau type thing there? Uh, no, it's a one piece. It's a one piece. Ah, it looks yeah. really good on you. You look sexy in all of those things. Thank you. you. look sexy in all of those things, baby. J-Dog, what's up? We miss you. We need you to call in soon. We need to go over the new J-Dog 6. I think he's got a J-Dog 7. He's J-Dog 12. J-Dog 12. We've uh, gotten a lot of... Blake, thank you. We love you, too. Hey, Canada. So many Canadians at Central this weekend. And thank you, everyone, for the referrals. Thank you for the kind words. Yes. Those are your opinions. We actually had one couple who's rather new. They're from the uh, Midwest slash East. They're with another couple who we know well. They were new to the lifestyle. 
Mm -hmm. And they came into Sensual Saturday night not knowing what to expect. Yes. And I don't think they expected it to be slow, but I don't think they expected it to be as busy as it was. And we were packed. Now, we are an intimate private club. We are a VIP club. Um, We, you know, the cover gets you two drinks. So really you're getting $50 worth of drinks for a $40 cover if you're out of town. Mm -hmm. We comp a lot of covers. Yes. If it's people we know and all that, because people say, don't you need to make money? Yes, but we're in this for the long haul. Right. And, you know, if something happened, even one little thing goes wrong, we're going to take care of your company. What's better than a better, a good experience? Nothing's better than a good experience. All our drinks there are buy one, get one free. Mm-hmm. So we, we, we attract a very big local crowd, which is rare for events in Vegas. Right. We pull in a local crowd mm-hmm. because it's fun, it's sexy, it's intimate, it's flirty. And this couple walked in, and I like to keep it around 60 to 80 people inside sensual. Yeah. We could get about 100 if we move 100 if we move a lot of the couches, but we offer free couches and tables, seating to everybody. You don't have to buy a bottle to get in there at all. Not at all. Uh, Ray's friends came. They had a great time. The Chicago group that came, remember? Yes. But this foursome was from uh, the Midwest East. I'm not going to say what state. That's not fair. Midwest East. And the one couple really enjoyed being there. The other couple said, well, this is amazing. Look at all these beautiful people. But it's a little too intimate. It's a little too, for lack of a better word, small. They wanted... Hundreds and hundreds of people so they could feel lost in the crowd. Gotcha. Versus, and they're beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful couple. They just felt it might be a little too intense because they're so new. And I was thinking, are you worried about what you're going to do or what others might want to do with you? Right. Because no one can touch you if you don't want to be touched. But yeah. Yeah. We won't let them touch you. And everything's just personal. Everything's just so, like, it's family there. No one's going to do anything that you don't want them to. Olive and Popeye, hello, Lancaster, California. So close to us here in Hollywood. You should come down to the studio sometime. Yeah, eat your spinach there. Eat your spinach. Eat your spinach. What were you going to say? Darren's telling me something. Dash talk. Right on. All right. I love that, Darren. All right, cool. So, yeah, I wanted to make sure that uh, I heard what Dee said. Darren's been with us for a long time. A long time. But come join us. Make sure uh, our number is available. You can text us. You can kick on, what is it, Holly and Michael. No spaces. H-O-L-L-I-A-N-D-M-I-C-H-A-E-L. That's how you can get in touch with us. K-E-Y. Or go to info at hollyandmichael.com. That's our info. Yes. That's our email. Info at hollyandmichael.com. And then Lexi will get it to us right away. Because I don't know how to log into that. <laughs> but it is. Sensual is intimate. Sensual is sexy. Sensual is fun. Sensual sensual. Sensual is sensual. We're very proud to announce that we will be opening Sensual New York. Woo-hoo. This coming Saturday we fly there. For the VIP preview, if you want to be part of that, if you would like to come out and see what it's about. And for this, anybody is welcome to come and see the VIP preview. Mm -hmm. We will, when we open, be exclusively for couples and single women. Yes. For this VIP preview, if you want to come and, you know, let's say your lady is out of town. Mm -hmm. Let's say your man is out of town and you feel weird coming as a single woman. We are allowing, because this is a preview, we're going to talk about what's happening There'll be some great cocktails. Uh, there'll be specials going on. We're going to do a toast, Woo-hoo. all that kind of stuff. And then there'll be, you know, it'll, it'll be fun. But this is a VIP preview. And VIP means very important persons to Holly and Michael and to the community. So come join us. Uh, I think it's satinsheetdreams.com backslash sensual. Yep. RSVP. It is free. This is free. Satinsheetdreams.com backslash sensual and get your tickets. But again, this one only is open to everyone because it is a preview. Our grand opening will be in, I think, two or three weeks now. Yes. So uh, Central Las Vegas will be every week. Yes. Central New York will be once a month, once every five weeks. Mm-hmm. Love it. So excited. Very, very excited. Olive and Popeye, uh, there's so much going on in the Hollywood LA area. We can definitely talk to you about that. I had a cat named Olive once. Aw, you're I welcome, Ray. ran her over. You did run her over. Yeah, accidentally. Accidentally. Accidentally, Accidentally. Ray. Ray, Amy, and Ray, our pleasure taking care of guests. And yes, we're answering everything going on on Facebook Live here too, because it allows us to be closer to you. A lot of people don't want to call in. We understand that, but uh, if you do, you can still call in. But we love taking care of people. We love when you tell us, "Hey, these are our friends." Then there are friends too. Yeah. The community has to take care of each other. Always. It really does. A couple of things. Uh, let me do some. What do I call it? Housekeeping. Housekeeping. A couple of housekeeping, housekeeping notes. Somebody just asked when we're back in Hedo. We will be there with Young Swingers Week, October of this year. We will be there for the five-year anniversary of Young Swingers Week, March of 2018. 
also will be there July of 2018 and October of 2018. We did agree to 2017 and 2018 with Young Swingers. Uh, 2018 is in a few months. It's weird. That is weird. That but is before weird. any of this, before any of this, go to desired-experience.com. There are a few cabins left, and I literally mean a few. We know of three couples that just signed up. They talked to us about it. We assured them, hey, we can't guarantee it's going to be the greatest time of your life, but we promise we're all going to make sure we create priceless, epic memories. And what's going to happen in Croatia? Oh, you love Game of oh Thrones. Oh, my God, Game of Thrones. There is a Game of Thrones. It's, there's a tour you can do there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mark D., what do you mean? It'll social and physical. Let me know about that. What do you mean about that, Mark D.? So, yeah. Um, oh, Veronica, we love you guys, too. What's up, sexy, sexy Carolina? Carolina. Remember on Carolina. set? Remember on set? Ooh, sexy, sexy. Ooh, sexy, sexy. She was so cute. She was so sexy. They're getting more active now. Uh, they are just great people. All right, let me get back to the Desire Venice cruise. We're going to board in Venice. Mm -hmm. You're never bored in Venice. It's so romantic. But we'll board the ship in Venice. We'll go down to Bologna. Yes. We'll go to two stops in Croatia, one in Slovenia, back to Venice. You and I will broadcast. Mm -hmm. You and I will be doing some of our award-winning, and thank you for that, award-winning seminars some people call icebreakers icebreakers we call it getting to know ya <laughs> all right that's not what we call it but that's really what it is getting to know ya and it's very very interactive it's not childish it's not immature it is sexy sexy and if you don't want to you can say no yeah you can say no but like carolina would say it is sexy sexy, sexy. people uh the feedback have been great and some if you see something that says holly and michael are doing a 101 it's not 101. No. It truly is just a scope of my 20 years of experience in the lifestyle, Pockets' is seven and a half years experience in the lifestyle, and beginning experience in the lifestyle from the amazing people we talk about. What's going on, kind of a state of the union, kind of a state of the union of, of our community, the pros and the cons, because if you don't talk about some negative, even a couple that's been in there for 10 years, the last time I did this talk, about two or 3,000 people there, must have had at least 5%. 5%, so about 100 people come up to me that have been in the lifestyle for quite a long time saying, wow, never really realized that happens. So glad we know now. These are good things and bad things. Mm -hmm. Not bad as in, oh my God, but, but bad. You know, bad. Right, bad. Last thing too, Veronica Love, Christian Love, cannot wait to see them and all their oh, friends that are coming. Them. That's the man, John. <laughs> Jay Love right there. Um, that's what I do love about being here at the Dash Studios. so nice. Everyone's so nice. We are a family. We take down that third wall. That's why we do Facebook Live. We want you to see what's going on in the studio here. We'll have to get uh, five sauce in for... Five sauce for our daughter. Our daughter's in love with five SOS. And we... Luke. Yeah, and there is... We are considering surprising our daughter and uh, bringing them in the studio. She's right there. I, well, she can't hear us. That's, that's the back of her head right there. She's old enough now that she can come into the studio and sit in the green room area. But she's in love with Luke from five sucks until summer. And we've been told that they would come in and talk. So that would be interesting. We'll see. And they're right. Australian, so I'm good with that, too. <laughs> What's up, Danny, from the Play Zone at Freedom Acre Resort? Good to see you, too. So Desire Venice Cruise, desire-experience.com. There you can look at the cruise, Desire Revere Maya, and Desire Revere Maya Pearl. All great places. <laughs> Go to youngswimmerweek.com for that. Don't forget to check out llvclub.com. That stands for Luxury Lifestyle Vacation Club.com. That's Puerto Vallarta. That's October 14th through the 21st. And then Young Swinger Week is October 21st through the 28th. So what? I'm What's seeing those? something fly by my face. I see that. I see that. Paper. We saw the sixth sense the other night. Oh, so and, uh, good. I hadn't seen it forever, so I was like, what? We should come join you guys at Club Freedom Maker one time. But if not, come into the studio. Come into the studio. What's up, uh, Alan and Brandy? Two people have become very, very, very near and dear oh, to our yes. hearts. Yeah. Them. We love them. They're so much fun. Yeah. They watched us eat a huge hot fudge Sunday on uh, oh my God, Saturday it's night. So good. That was funny. That you was know, funny. All right, let's get into some. Like, we're like, oh, we should eat. Oh, we should eat that. And New Year's Eve, I believe we're in Miami, LLVclub.com. I believe that's what we're doing. Uh, we might be doing the SDC cruise early December, but we'll keep you posted. Anytime we go somewhere, we do acknowledge whether or not we are going there and we are being uh, compensated, meaning to do broadcasts and seminars. They do pay us to be there. We choose to stay out, socialize, and hang out for 20 hours out of 24 hours in a day. 
Granted, we don't get a lot of sleep, but who cares? We get to be with you. Uh, but the law, our ethics tell us to always acknowledge, and the law does too. Not everyone does, but, but we will. We always acknowledge uh, what's going on. It's not fair to mislead. Mis mislead. Yeah. Deceive, deceive and mislead. I totally forgot. You played Simon Says this weekend. Yes, we did. You got to make out with a lot of people this weekend. Well. How come I have to be Simon all the time? <laughs> you choose to be Simon. Why don't you be Simon and tell me to make I'll, out with these ladies? I'll be Simon next time. All right. Simonette. Simonette. Make sure it's okay with the husbands and then we're good. Yes. All right. Let's not kid ourselves. In the lifestyle and the vanilla world pockets, we are attracted to who we are attracted to. Yeah. And this is, this is something that bothered me about that ridiculous show that they tried to air. They got one or two episodes out. Uh, and I don't know if it was We or USA or A&E. Like and, and one of the head couples said, well, only good-looking people are allowed in the lifestyle. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. <laughs> Ever what's good-looking to... Uh, one person is not good looking to the, another person. No, and it's interesting too, even within our dynamic, you will say someone is really hot, and I'll say, you know what? She's cute. Yeah. Or I'll say, don't you think, and I'm straight, but I'll say, don't you think that guy is good looking? Would you be interested in playing with him? And you'll say, not my type. I don't think he's that good looking. No. So, at different strokes for different folks. Right. But to make a blanket statement like that really pisses me off. Yeah. No one should, to, to me, no one should body shame. Now, Granted, you're going to like the shapes you like. Right. Some people like what's called BBW, a big, beautiful woman. Uh -huh. And there's BBM, big, beautiful man. Yeah. Right? I mean, it, it goes both ways like that. But to each his own. To each their own. And to body shame somebody, you know, when someone says HWP, please be height, weight, proportional. I get that. But what <coughs> is, bless you, beautiful. But what is height, weight, proportional? What's up, Maurice Mo? What is height, weight, proportional these days? It it doesn't have to. It's I have no idea. It could be anything. It could be five two, two hundred pounds. It could be five ten, five hundred pounds. I don't know. It just it all depends on what you like. I know. There's no like. Oh, this is what it's supposed to be. Thank you, Mark. Mark D. Bill said you both are very good at making out with other married couples. <laughs> if we're given permission, we like to make out. We do. We do. Mark, you're right about that. Uh, it's it's whatever you feel. So I, I have this in a. If you're going to say, uh, I'm only going somewhere where there's hot people, I'm going to ask you to take a look in the mirror. Yeah. Because I, will, I think I'm okay. I'm not, I'm not fishing you're here. You're good looking. Think, but I'm not fishing here. Personal, I'm very secure with myself. I would say I'm very secure with myself. And I feel I'm very realistic, too. Mm -hmm. I don't, I think I'm okay. I think you're breathtaking. You're stunning. You're gorgeous. Thank you. And I recognize that if, who can I use? Let me use Shannon and Rory as an example. We had them in the studio. Okay, both really good looking people. Oh, yeah. And they, they, they play with, they associate with, they hang out with everybody. Mm -hmm. so, to them, they say you and I are this very good looking. And they say the same thing about us. But my point using them is uh, Vivian and James. They're Vivian and James on Facebook. Vivian doesn't discriminate based on someone's look. It's personality. Right. You and I, James is the same way. You and I are the same way. Huge with that. Your looks are relevant. Your body shape is slightly relevant, but it's your personality. Mm -hmm. Granted, I personally, there are certain looks that I like and don't like. You've been surprised before on women. Yeah. But in the lifestyle, if you think it's only going to be gorgeous people, and I don't know what gorgeous is to you, but let's use Playboy models and Victoria's Secret models, then you're sadly mistaken. <laughs> right? I think you're sadly mistaken yeah. because real world isn't that. And just because you're in this lifestyle doesn't mean you're going to have sex with people that have that look. Right. If you weren't fooling around or dating them... Beforehand? You're not necessarily going to do it now. Not everyone is here just to have sex. Right. Just to have sex. Yeah. Right? Yep. We met uh, quite a few couples that are just like, you know, we're just here for the people. We don't even play. Thank you, Jason, for your comment. I, I Yeah. Th th they come to... You and I added a fifth category to the lifestyle. We take a lot of crap from people for this. Oh, you went past that. I was like, do you have a, like fifth. a sixth finger? I have a fifth. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Mark. We like those videos, too. It is about chemistry. It is about personality. You and I have often, often said that. Looks do matter to a degree. Chemistry, preference, personality, that is what's big to you and I. Mm -hmm. But you're right. We added that fifth category. There's exhibitionists, people who like to watch. Mm -hmm. There's voyeurs, people who like to be watched. Mm -hmm. There's soft swap. Anything goes within your rules and boundaries and the other couple's rules and boundaries, including floor play, but not penis inside vagina. Full swap is everything that soft swap has, 
butt penis inside vagina. And then the fifth category you and I added that people get mad at sometimes. Hardcore swingers get mad at us sometimes. Who cares? They say we're wrong. But we added this fifth category. People who like to be around other cool, sexy people. By sexy, like Carolina says, sexy, sexy. Okay. It's people who feel sexy. Right. It's an attitude. Mm -hmm. It's an attitude. Young is an attitude. It is. It doesn't matter how old you are. You could be 82 and... I just saw a but Facebook thing of a year old that's just like dancing and everything. It's how you feel in, in your I mind. I agree. I agree. Cleo, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. Everyone is saying that is so right. Not our oh, Our dog. No, we do have a dog named Cleopatra. We do have a dog named so she Cleopatra. didn't mean that. She's texting us? She didn't mean that that way. No. Um, yeah, personality does trump parents a lot of times. I think a nine or ten can quickly become a three or four personality. And again, I don't like using numbers, but if you would call somebody a four or five, they can quickly become an eight or nine because of personality, right? I, listen, I think my personality, I'd rate myself about a five and a half or six. Listen, just me personally. No, I would, I would, I would. And my personality, I think, brings me up to maybe an eight. I think my personality adds to it. You're a ten. I mean, oh. You're gorgeous. You have breasts. You have legs. You have a great ass. Yes. You're, you're, you're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Thank you. And your personality keeps you at a 10 when people get to know you. When people get to know me. Right. When I'm like a 2 know. before no, and I'm no, like no, an no. 8 after. Yeah, no, no, no. And socializing is fun. If you get my jokes. Uh, yeah, if people get your jokes. Yeah. That's the thing. But body shaming sucks. You don't have the right to do it. If you're gonna, have body shamed me. I know they have. You, you're too skinny. Well, so can I call you too fat? Right. I remember saying that to your sister once. And we're very, very close with them. Yeah. And I think it was because of the honesty. She kept saying, Holly, you're too skinny. Holly, you're too skinny. Holly, you're too skinny. And I said, finally, Amber, is that fair for you to body shame her? Because what if we recognize to you that you're too overweight? You eat too much. Well, uh, I said, it's the same thing. Body shaming is body shaming. I think you're beautiful, Amber, but I don't think it's fair that you say that to Holly. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Yeah. And we have never been closer with them. In the, I mean, that, that happened about five years ago. Yeah. And we've never been closer with them. So go back to, I get it if you and your partner have rating systems or a way of doing things of who you will and won't play with. Keep it between you and your partner. Though. Yes. I just don't feel it's fair to shame others or to discriminate against others publicly. It's just not cool to me. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all. And do I have the right to do it to others? No. Do I have the right to be picky? You have the right to choose for yourself. Absolutely. We absolutely, you absolutely have the right to choose for yourself. Being in this lifestyle does not inoculate you from things. It does not inoculate you from ignorance. No. It does not inoculate you from discrimination or prejudice. And it does not inoculate you from cheating. No. We'll talk about cheating in a minute. Yeah. But these are things that, that kind of get to me. Just hearing it and, and seeing it. and I don't mind if you walk up to me and ask me privately, hey, you know, what kind of couples do you get there? And I'll ask, what do you mean? Well, you know, it's central. What's the age range? Totally get it. I'll tell you the age range. Yeah. We age range about 24 to about 52. Yes, we've had older. Yes, we've had younger. Never younger than 21 because okay. IDs are checked at the door, so you have to be over 21. Typical in the mid-30s, sometimes to low 40s. Again, some older, some younger. It depends on what's going on that night. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Uh, Daniel makes a good point. They don't like drunk people. No. They don't play with anybody that is super drunk. We could not agree more. Uh... I want them to remember it and be in it, not just because they're, they've got beer goggles on. Or... Right. And and vomit in the middle of play, oh, just not a sexy oh, thing. Oh, someone told me recently that that happened to them. Carolina would not say, sexy, sexy. Not so sexy. To vomit in the middle of it. Falling asleep, I've fallen asleep during sex before. <laughs> but... <laughs> Where have you ever done that? No, I think you have. I have. Bo's right. Pleasure is a drug. That's the drug I like, the, the pleasure. Pleasure is a drug. I know some people need Viagra or Cialis. Nothing wrong with that. It's the other stuff that worries me if you do too much. Sometimes you need a lot, little extra boost. Yeah, so sloppy drunk is nasty. All right. How to dress for a lifestyle party has been something that's really been brought up. Because of all the events we go to worldwide, we're blessed and humbled to be there with you. Because of owning the club, Sensual. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we co-own Sensual in Las Vegas and now New York with our great business partners, Sapphire. So owning this club, we get asked often, how should I dress? The first thing I say, Pockets, dress to impress if there's no specific theme yes. or you don't like the theme. Right. What do you think? No, I totally agree. Dress to impress. You you make you feel, feel sexy. So right. if you feel sexy in it, come in it. Right. Well, unless there's a theme. Themes are totally different. I, you can. Yeah, but what if you don't? There's some themes I there's just don't like. There's some things I just like. don't like. 
I just I just wear sexy dresses then. Right. Then you're but there you're dressing. Right. And when I say dress to impress, I mean impress yourself first. Mm -hmm. Hopefully your partner's impressed too. And something you're gonna feel if you're considering playing. Never expect to play, but if you're considering playing, dress to impress people that you might play with. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, fair I totally enough. Agree. All right. How to dress for a lifestyle party. If there is a theme night, go for it sometimes. Let your inhibitions down just a bit. Try it out. It what? could just be an amazing night just, just because. Yeah, yeah. I Bo, like dressing up. You know, going back to something, Bo makes a good point. Something with, with intoxication or any unfortunate drugs can cause insecurity and jealousy. Things yes. you don't want. Drunk anger you don't want. Yes. You know, I'm not going to debate roid rage with people, but there is booze rage. Yes. There is booze rage. I don't do roids. Not everyone does. Uh, most people don't, but somebody had this conversation. My barber was asking me about things because of my medical background. And I remember the word roid rage. Well, there can't be booze rage. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, people and do get angry at You booze. don't need that. Dress for comfort. Dress to impress. I like, Comfort? Wait. <laughs> well, you women in heels. Oh, my God. We're not looking at your calves. Do you know what We're I've decided? We're looking at your cleavage. We're looking at your cleavage, not your calves. I think I've decided that everyone needs to take off their shoes before they hit sensual. Like, everyone just have their shoes out. That would be funny. It would be amazing. You would dance all night long. I would dance all night long. True. And we do provide. We don't charge for tables like other people. Not at all. There's no... There's no minimum drinks to buy at Sensual. You don't have to buy a bottle to get a table or a couch to sit on. You can sit all night. I'll, I'll try to get you off the couch and dancing because I like people to socialize. But go back to this. There was this, what was it, sexy schoolgirl and the jocks or the jocks they love or yeah. something. And I went out of my comfort zone. Yeah. Dressed as a woman. Didn't shave my beard. Dressed as a woman and everything. Um, and you went as a man, as a jock. Yes. And that was fun. Uh-huh. It was, it was silly. Blast. And I wasn't worried about being judged. Sometimes you can't take yourself too seriously. Right. Have fun with it. So dress to impress if there's no theme or you don't like the theme. If there is a theme and you can do it, let your inhibitions down a little bit and do it. Yeah. One thing I am going to suggest, whether you're coming to Sensual, if you're in Jamaica, Hito, or if you're in Cancun at Desire Pearl, Desire Revere Meyer, or Temptation, or you're on a cruise, cargo shorts and a tank top maybe, but I still suggest... Jamaica is different with all the humidity. Jamaica is different. All the humidity in Jamaica. Yeah. All right. You die if you wore pants. Yeah, pants. Around. Yeah. But in Mexico, where it's very much air conditioned in all the inside mm -hmm. restaurants, and most of the restaurants are inside there, cargo shorts, especially a tank top, forego the tank top. Yeah. A nice t shirt works. Mm -hmm. When you're at Sensual, I'm not going to kick you out, and I'll make sure my hosts and the VIP hosts up front and the door people, no one's going to kick you out. But again, cargo shorts. With a tank top, if you're going to go cargo shorts, wear a t-shirt. Yeah. Unless it's a beach theme, I strongly suggest that. Yes. You I know? Do, I do too. Angie and Jay make a good point. Jay always goes for the funny. We love you and we miss you guys a lot too. Angie and Jay from the Average Swingers. Great podcast. Check them out, please. AverageSwingers.com. But dress where you feel comfortable. But also recognize, if you're thinking about playing, the way you appear to them. Oh, yeah. You know. Dirty and sloppy comes off as dirty and sloppy. Over the shower, stains on the shirt. Right. Ugh. An iron, not iron, but a, a pressed tank top and nice cargo shorts with sandals. Again, not bad, but right. I don't know if, you know, in Vegas, in New York, I don't know if that's the way you want to dress cause, unless you have a beach theme. Yeah. But just a little feedback because we get asked that a lot. How do I dress? There you go. Be comfortable with yourself. Feel sexy about mm -hmm. yourself. Feel good about yourself. All that kind of stuff. You know? I usually feel good naked. The, come naked. <laughs> We've actually had some people say, hey, can I wear something skimpy? Yeah, just wear a coat over it when you yeah. walk in. Once you get into Central, you can be in anything sheer or see-through. Absolutely. Not a problem yeah. at all. Not a problem at all. I'm Go. cool. I'm totally cool with that. It was too hot, though, the other night in there. That was. We had to cool it off a little bit. Uh, well, all those bodies. So we had it oh, set. Yeah. It was set at 67, but with all the bodies. We had, like I said, I think we had over 80. No, I think we had about eight, 75 to 80 people in there. And it brought the temperature up to 74. Jeez. Right, so we had to crank the air on That's even That's hot, more. especially if you're dancing and having yep. a good time. Yep, I agree. I agree. All right, here's how little I feel we in the lifestyle or in general truly know about each other. <laughs> oh, great. I read this. The Sunday Times recently asked about 8,500 respondents. So they went and asked 8,500 people. Men and women ages 18 to 35, these questions. Okay. Right? You ready? Uh-huh. What? Well, this is the one that I wanted to focus on. What do women admire most on a man 
versus what men think women admire most on them. And this is very lifestyle specific. Yes, Mark, D-Bill, sharing kisses is awesome. Awesome. So what, what do women admire most on a man versus what men think women admire most on them? Lifestyle thinking. What do you think women admire most on a man, lifestyle-wise? Lifestyle wise, like body wise? Sure, go body wise. I like Yeah, let's yeah, yeah, keep this to body. Not personalities, keep okay. this to body. I like eyes. Okay. I'm an eyes person. What do you think men think women admire most on them? Biceps. Okay, fair enough. I would say women admire a man's see you're you're I would say their smile. Yo, smiles are important too. Not like <laughs> outside the lifestyle. Inside the lifestyle, I think a woman is looking at their arms, their biceps, oh, yeah. their shoulders. Mm -hmm. If they're topless, what are their abs like? Oh, yeah. Again, it's not necessarily who they're going to hook up with, but that's what they're admiring. Yeah. First, and I think men think women are admiring their abs. Oh. Mostly, and then maybe their arms. Oh, yeah. And that's in the lifestyle. All right, number one, what women admire most. Ready? Yeah. Sexy tush. What? Yeah. I never look at a butt. 39%. 39% of the women look at the tush first. I never look at a guy's butt. Yep, Chris, you're right. Men think arms and abs. So, first thing a woman looks at, I guess, is their butt. Huh? That's 39%. Men believed, 21% of the men believed they were being checked out their chest and their shoulders first. That's what I would... That's what you would think? That's what I would look at before, but... But you're not seeing chest and shoulders all the time, either lifestyle or vanilla world. But I don't you're not. do much with the butt. Like, the arms are like... Mm. True, but the arms is in there. Chest and shoulders but, is what men think yeah. women want, and women actually like looking for the touch. <laughs> all right, number two... I don't get it. 15% of women are looking at slimness, not penis size. They don't uh, see it. they don't see that. This is vanilla... Vanilla and lifestyle, right? Okay. Because they're they look they talked to eighty five hundred yeah eighty five hundred respondents so you don't know if they were open minded or open relationship or not. Right. Slimness of the man's body fifteen percent, eighteen percent of the men said women are looking at their arms. So first thing men think women want is muscular chest and shoulder and then muscular arms. Yes. What women really are saying they want first thirty nine percent of them surveyed sexy tush, and then slimness and number three. 13% of the women said they're looking if a man has a flat stomach. I agree. I often, because I do have yeah, a flat you, stomach, and yeah. I get really conscious when my pecs make a shirt poof out a little bit. Right, I do too. Men think, and this I find very interesting, because you can't see it, <laughs> but men believe, 15% of men believe it's their penis. We can't see your penis. We can't see it. Women listed penis, <laughs> the importance of penis, you ready for this? Yeah. Out of 11 factors, uh -huh. women listed penis as number nine in most important. Because you can't see it. Are we talking naked? Are we talking bald? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't even think that, it doesn't really even matter. If you're at Hedo, if you're, if you're, if you're at Hedo or Desire, you're going to see somebody naked. Right. You know, you're at the new poolside, you're going to see people naked. Oh, yeah. Game's going on, and don't lie, you look. Everyone right. looks. Everyone looks. Derek has a flat tummy, too. <laughs> Derek, we miss you. It's been a long time since we've seen you. What just happened here? There we go. I think we're back on. Yeah, I don't okay. Know. Can you hear me okay? Yes. There we go. I saw, like, an electrical outage, but we're okay. Uh, yeah, if you're, at, if you're at a place like Heat or Desire, you're at a takeover. People you know, are naked. Inside Sensual, people can take some clothes off. You can see it. If you're at uh, a complete hotel takeover, like at the Barcello with LLVclub.com, mm -hmm. right? Those places, people will see you naked. I get it. But women listen, penis is number nine out of 11 with their the man's buttock being number one, slimness, I don't know what they mean by that, like two, and flat stomach being, because if you want a guy to be muscular, then they're slim. They're too, lean is a lot. Lean yeah. is different than muscular. Yeah. Lean is just, to me, sounds skinny. Like, yeah. I, wonder what not, I wonder what 10 and 11 are. Yeah. The last on the list. I love it, Pop. I said, mine is a work in progress. I love it. <laughs> Cheers to you, Derek. We do have to get together. We do have to get together very soon. All right, studies, baby, are important, I find, just, just because we learn a little bit. And you and I do so much investigating and asking questions and, and inquiring. We listen a lot. We, we listen a lot. And I find those funny. This weekend, something occurred, unfortunately, two different times with people we know. It, it was lifestyle, and it, occurred, it, it, it consisted of cheating. Yep. It consisted of cheating. Yeah. Let me make this statement. Yeah, unfortunately. Let me make this statement. A hall pass is not cheating. A hall pass is a word we use when a partner, man and woman, man and man, woman and woman, doesn't matter, when a partner gives the other partner permission 
to play mm -hmm. when they're not present. Right. That's different than saying we're, we play in different rooms, because yeah. there you're, uh, in my opinion, you're obviously going somewhere together. And you know about it. You know about it, and you know they're there, they know you're there, and you're playing. A hall pass is if I'm in Vegas, and you're in L.A., mm -hmm. and you were to say, Michael has a hall pass to play and do X, Y, and Z. That's a hall pass. If I'm allowed to do X, Y, and Z, but I start doing A, B, and C, that's not right. Right. That's not right. Mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z is what we agreed on. Uh, Lee Hale saying, I love more curvy women. We said that earlier. We love all types of women and, and pockets, all types of men, too. It just depends right. on a lot of it has to do with personality. Yes, there are some we may find they're sexy and, oh, yeah, you're attractive, but we're not going to play. Yeah. And there's some that you might say, wow, really? You played with them? Yeah, because <laughs> we, we like all types of people. Yes. But with the cheating... Being in the lifestyle does not inoculate you from infidelity. No, it doesn't. Being in the lifestyle doesn't guarantee you're going to communicate properly all the time. Right. Which is sad, though. Like, yep. you ha you're you doing this together, yet some some people still cheat. Like, they just need <clears throat> something else. <clears throat> but why can't they just tell the partner they need that? Well, and, and that's something that I, I take very seriously. You're right. If you... It, if I were to say to you, well, I told you I want more. And you said to me, well, I don't want to do more. I want to do the way we do. Mm -hmm. And I agree, and I say, fine, we're going to do the way you do and the way you want. Right. Well, A, I'm not being fair to you when I say, fine, if it's not what I really want. And I am completely to blame if I go behind your back. Yes. Because I have no right to then say to you, well, I told you these are the things I wanted. Right. Just because I told you I wanted them does not mean I said to you I'm going to do them. Yeah, and it doesn't give you the right to do it behind my back. Not at all. If I say to you, Pockets, this is the things I want to do. If you're not okay with it, I still am going to do it, and we need to decide what we're going to do about us. Right. If at that point you ignore it, I've already told you I'm still going to do it. <laughs> well, right? Yeah. And so if you get mad, then I would have the right to say, I shared with you that that's what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. If you chose to take it as a joke, that's on you. Right. That's not on me. Mm -hmm. That's not happening between you and I. I'm saying as an example. Yes. As an example. But if I don't say to you that I'm going to do it, and I go out and do it, then you are not to blame. I am to blame. Mm -hmm. The person who lies and deceives, they are to blame. Right. Studies have suggested that in an era right now, we're over 50% of marriages, that doesn't mean who gets married at the beginning of the year, 50% or more will get divorced. They look at a 10-year time span. Yes. Over 50% of marriages end in divorce, and there's almost an equal percentage of extramarital affairs, meaning men and women doing it. Mm -hmm. The shared experience, I feel, of being a swinger, can bring marriage partners closer together. It will not inoculate you from infidelity. Right. It will not inoculate you from cheating. But I do feel strongly that it can put up barriers to avoid that if you communicate, communicate, communicate. What do you think? I totally agree. That's the key. That's the key right there. So many people. But you know what? A lot of people say they communicate and they don't. No, they don't. They, they don't. don't. It goes back to confidence. Jason is saying if someone's a little overweight but they feel good about themselves, that's confidence. I love confidence. Confidence is so much sexier than cockiness. Yes. Or insecurity. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't mind helping, talking, working if you're feeling insecure, but confidence is sexy. Go back to what you just said. If you're confident in yourself and you're confident in your partner, then be comfortable enough to communicate. Because if you don't communicate, then so much is getting lost. Right. So much is being missed, and that's when cheating can occur. Mm -hmm. you, and I, you, you and I had an argument the other night. We still haven't resolved it. But one thing I said to you, do you remember this? Because your ex used to do this. You would fight, he would leave, you knew what he was doing. Yes. He was cheating. Right? Wrong? Mm hmm I didn't leave the other night. No. And why did I not leave? Because that's what happened to me. And even though I truly believe you know I would do nothing, I will not push those buttons on you. I will not walk out of a room just because we had an argument and it wasn't resolved yet. Because even when we're arguing, I love you more and I respect you as much or more, I may not like what's being said. Mm -hmm. You don't like what I'm saying, but I am not gonna push your buttons. That's what being in a relationship is about to me. 
Mm-hmm. You agree or not? I agree. That's what being in love and being a partner is about. That's being a we, not a me. Right. That's how I look at it. So being in this lifestyle, playing together, can equal staying together. Yeah. But again, you got to respect each other. Right. You just got to respect each other. It's important to stress that open marriages are only successful if they are supplements or enhancements to the marriage and not considered a replacement yes. for the role of your partner or spouse. Mm-hmm. That's where I feel some people get lost. This is not, being in the lifestyle should not complete you. Right. Finding the partner you spend your life with should not be the person that completes you. It should be about what complements you, mm-hmm. what complements your relationship and your marriage. Yes. And yeah. if you're not having sex together, you probably shouldn't be having sex with other people. Yep. Yep. I, I've said this often, Angie and Jay just said it too. If you feel you have to hide something from your partner, obviously it's something that's not right or something your partner's going to get mad at. It doesn't have to be a sexual act. You've heard me say that often. It still should not be done. Mm-hmm. That is your partner. Unless you're hiding a gift <laughs> or a surprise party you're going to throw for them, right. I do not believe you should be hiding things from your partner. That's my belief. Uh, Lori Dean, 100% swinging, open communication improves your own sex lives. Absolutely. To insanely great levels, sharing each other's pleasure, hot, hot. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Honest, open communication. That's how you can stay together. And make sure when you play, if you play, or even if you watch others or let others watch you play, it's complementing your primary relationship. Right. It's so not you're in between. Yes. You don't need, but you like. Yes. It's a supplement. It's an enhancement. Yes. It is not a replacement. That is what I feel is very, very important. Because marriages are tested. Seriously. Oh, all the time. Whether they're open or, or monogamous. Mm-hmm. And I put monogamous like this because unfortunately a lot of monogamous relationships are cheating. Are cheating. We get so many messages from men and from women or couples that are cheating on their partners. And they have their own little relationship now saying, hey, would you play with us? Hey, we need discretion because my husband doesn't know. Or, hey, I need discretion because my wife doesn't know. We get so many messages like that. We don't out them. No. Uh, it's not our job to, but no. I'm well, so angry. a few times on Facebook when people have lied to you and said that they do have permission, you've said, okay, let me talk to their wife. Right. Let me talk to your wife or let me talk to your husband. And then they get belligerent. Well, then you have outed one or two and, and okay. But I do feel that you're right if they insult you and they, they degrade you. And you do have the right to say, hey, this person is saying these things to me. What do you guys think? Right? Yeah. Stephen Northern is saying you're looking hot. Looking good, yeah. little lady. I agree, Stephen, about that. I agree. Uh, but marriages are tested. Open or monogamous. To be in a swinging marriage, not only must the marriage be solid, the partners must, I'm going to say completely, but let's put it at 98%. You must trust each other at least 98% of the time. Yes, I to, agree. To question something is different than to ask a question. If you were questioning a lot of things, how come? Right. How come? Right. If you are asking a question about something, you're, that's healthy. You're communicating. You're communicating. Right. That's healthy. I feel that's where the strengths and the weaknesses come in. I feel that's where a strong marriage gets stronger and a weak marriage gets destroyed because partners forget to communicate, forget that it's about the we, not the me. Mm-hmm. Do you agree? I, Do you disagree? I agree. I agree. It's about communication. And if you can't communicate, go see someone. But how you start communicating is up to you. We say TTLC. Trust, talk, listen, communicate. Trust each other enough to talk. At that point, you're listening. And now you're communicating. Listening is not responding to your partner before they have finished speaking. Right. Because you're not listening. You're just coming up with something to say. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. I have been in the lifestyle for 20 years. I was 18 when I first started. The woman was 24 or 26. She was a little older than me. She took me to this party in downtown Chicago. And one of the first things I recognized with playing with these married women while she was with the men was how much communication they had. Mm-hmm. We didn't have texting back then. Right. Right? <laughs> but I wasn't getting phone calls from the women. I get phone calls from the guys saying, hey, we're going to this party. Are you and your lady coming? And if she's not coming, would you like to come and join us? You know, I know you're straight, Michael, but my wife really enjoys you and these other wives would. Great. That was communication. Mm-hmm. That was being open and honest. You and I have been doing this for seven and a half years, and our, our rules have grown. They don't go up and down. Right. It's a level playing field. They've grown. 
from this to that, and sometimes from that to this, it just depends yep. on, on our moods. And we have the right to make it dependent on oh, our yeah. moods, not the mood of others. Yes. Do you agree? Uh-huh. Yeah, so Sweeney is not going to save a marriage. No. Sweeney can keep couples happy and together. That's like Excuse saying me. a baby will save a relationship. Right. Babies aren't going to save your relationship. And how do you know a TV show is having problems? When they, they have, have a baby. baby. They introduce a baby to the cast. Yep. Oh, it's having a baby. Oh. Not, not that babies are bad. I, we love babies are great. Yeah, babies are great. But yeah. But we had children when we had <laughs> problems. So. All right, I'm going to end on this note. A uh, study was done by Dr. Bergstrand and Jennifer Blevins Williams, Department of Sociology at Bellarmine University. All right. 1,092 swingers. They actually spoke to people who considered nice. themselves swingers. And in their summary, they concluded that swingers are less racist, less sexist, and less heterosexist. Meaning they accepted, meaning they accepted others. They were accepting of others. I think we are. All right. Then the general population, their conclusion also stated, swinging appears to make the vast majority of swingers' marriages happier, and swingers rate the happiness of their marriages and life satisfaction generally as higher than the non-swinging population. Notice I said that. Generally as higher. Right. Not guaranteed it's going to be rated higher. No, because that's that's upon you. Right. That's upon, exactly. How do you communicate? Right. How do you talk? How do you make sure that everything is going the way it's supposed to go? Mm -hmm. I've often said, look at Crystal and Mikey. The way they play is very, very successful, yet very, very different than others. Mm -hmm. And we can, you know, hey, at Swing Time 69 on Twitter, or Michael Pockets on Facebook, and you'll hear a lot. We can talk to you about how Crystal and Mikey play. Crystal and Mikey were at the grand opening of Sensual in Las Vegas. You know, that's sensuallasvegas.com, our club there. It's, it's amazing the way they interact with people and the way others interact with people based on things they learn. Yes. And blessed that on Playboy Radio, on Dash Radio, on Dash Talk One, is that what it is? Dash Talk. Dash Talk, Dash all Talk. of this. We have the opportunity not only to share with you about what's going on in Las Vegas at Central at our club, about what's going on in New York at when we grand open uh, Central there. We're going to do the VIP preview. But so much. This lifestyle is for you. It's about you. It's by you. You have to decide, though, yeah. how you want to live successfully in mm -hmm. life and then the lifestyle. We can give you the tools, but you have to use them. Yeah, exactly. Whether you're a couple, a single woman, or a single man, respect. Always. Always respect. Have integrity in yourself. Be ethical. Yes, and no means no. No means no. Remember, consent is not the absence of no. It's the presence of yes. Mm -hmm. And in the lifestyle, that is very important. Jason, thank you for that. It's a great show. Hope to meet both of you soon. Keep up educating America. Thank you, Jason. We're blessed. We're blessed also on Desires Cruise. We'll be doing our show on Facebook Live and on Dash Radio Live from Italy, Croatia, and Slovenia. That'll be a lot of fun. So much fun. We'll do a show uh, from New York next week. It won't be from Central New York, but we will do one from New York. We'll go Facebook Live for that for sure. Okay. At Swing Time 69 on Twitter, right here, Michael Pockets on Facebook. Check out desired-experience.com. The cruise has a few cabins available. It will be an experience of a lifetime, I really It'll believe. Be It'll be huge. It'll be huge. It'll be huge. Rooms are definitely discounted. Check it out. We don't have an affiliate. We don't do the affiliate thing. So desire-experience.com. What about Central in LA? We'll talk to our business partners about that. I mm -hmm. promise in the near future, we'll talk to our business partners. Definitely. Your Instagram? Real Holly Pockets. All right. Actually, I think we're going to do another show that we're going to go Facebook Live also. Why not? Why We've not? got to have one in the can because no pun intended. Ew. That sounds bad, I know. Nasty. Doesn't that sound bad, Darren? That sounds nasty. That sounds nasty. <laughs> because we'll be traveling to New York. We want to make sure we have shows that go out on air. Right? Yes. I love you. I love you. You ready? Yep. Swing, swing. We love you, family. All right. There you go. All right. We'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes. Say bye.